Welcome back to Mutakemel Financial Track. In this lecture, we're going to study the closings, and by closings here we mean the closings of the financial periods. Um, as it's not allowed to add any transactions to a closed period as well as an annual closing. When you close the financial year, a new one opens up and all of the balances for both the accounts and the stocks will be posted to that new year. The first screen I'm going to show you today is period stopping and you can use this screen to stop the users from being able to uh, use the system and it can be used during a special or exceptional periods basically the times when the facility or your company just does not want any users to be making any changes but of course this does not affect the financial year or the periods it is just putting the system use on hold for a time period to go about this first we click on modify um, then we enter the start date and the end date of that period by activating the variable period stopping the system will stop users logins during that period that you've specified and don't forget to click on save to activate your settings moving on to the screen monthly closing we use the screen basically to uh, close the monthly financial periods which consequently closes uh, the user's ability to view the trial balance and it also stops the user's ability to add transactions to that monthly period. The screen here is divided into two parts. Um, the upper part is where we enter the data um, and we select the options and variables. Um, basically the variables and the options based on which the system would close that period. As for the lower part, that one's divided into three tabs. The first one we have is foreign currency. And this is where you will view the accounts that are using foreign currencies and will learn how to close them. Exchange rate is a statistical tab. It shows you the exchange rates for the currency during the previous closed month. Uh, pending requests is the tab that alerts you about any pending documents that um, have not been posted in the branches and it shows you the branch number in a column. Uh, the document number and also the date. Uh, if there is a description for these transactions, you will see that in the description column. Regarding the closing itself, it is done by first entering the month and then the financial year comes up automatically in financial. If we want to close the accounting period through the closing of cost centers, which obviously will close the accounts, then you can just go ahead and activate the variable by cost centers. As for the variable reverse reversing journal entries, you activate it in case you have uh, reverse journals that have been created in the account, so the system would um, reverse that movement. The variable close currency difference for foreign accounts is used to direct the system to um, basically perform the necessary settling for the differences that are caused due to the difference between uh, the foreign currency and the local currency at the end of the month. We're talking about the exchange differences. The system basically re-evaluates the balances of the accounts in which foreign currencies are used according to the exchange rate entered in currency details. Uh, and the system creates um, automatic journals with the uh, currency differences and it posts that to um, the difference in the local currency to the uh, currency's difference account and that account is entered in the interface account screen. The system admin can also uh, close the currency differences for all the accounts or some of them either by selecting all or by selecting specific accounts or even accounts that start with a specific digit, the options we have for that uh, show up on the right of the screen. There's all accounts and uh, that once used if the system admin wants to select, then re-evaluate all foreign currency accounts uh, using the exchange rate for each currency. Cancel select account and that option is used if the user wants to cancel the accounts 
uh, I'm sorry, it wants to select the accounts manually from the tab foreign currency and the option specific accounts uh, start with number this one is used if the system admin wants to select accounts that start with a certain number or digit and you can just enter that number in the field that shows once you've selected that option the variable close currency difference for zero balance foreign accounts if activated it closes the currency difference for the foreign currency accounts that have a local currency balance only which means that the balance of these accounts in foreign currency equals zero these balances represent actual currency differences that the user might need to close only by the end of some months then we click on the icon monthly closing to go ahead and close the month if the user wants to cancel the monthly closing, they can do that by clicking on the icon cancel closing and the system will cancel the monthly closing along with the procedures uh, that resulted uh, from that closing. You can um, cancel the closing after selecting the month in the field and note that you cannot reopen a month if the month after it is closed. Moving on to the screen, uh, PI annual closing. Through the screen, uh, we can determine the accounts in which we're closing the um, incomings and expenses, and those are the revenues and losses accounts. But as we can see, to close revenues and losses, all the months have to be closed, hence the alert that says we need to close 12 months first. Now we'll move on to the screen annual closing. We use this one after we have done the monthly closings for the 12 months of the financial year and on this screen you'll see the sequence of the procedures or the steps that you need to go through in order to close a year and also the data requirements to open a new year which of course will be imported from the closed previous year such as the inventory balance accounts balances and the general data you will need to uh, ensure that all of the months have been closed and that um, that is basically done by checking the marks opposite to each month in the status column if there's a month that you have not closed then just check the box opposite to it in the status column then click on monthly closing and that opens up the monthly closing screen where you can close the month um, in that one as well after you're done with that you can just go ahead and close the screen and go back to annual closing click on next to start the process of opening a new year and of course transferring the balances and data from the previous year um, but in case your company wants to open a new year with new accounting periods in consequent months then um, and that is basically going to be starting the first of the month to the 30th of each month then you just need to enter the months in the relevant month field um, if the company though wants to open a new financial year using crossed financial periods then you will need to enter the day the month and the year in the field uh, from and to and the system will calculate the periods based on your entry the new financial year will come up automatically in the fields year based on the previously closed year so if the company just closed 2019 then the system will automatically open the new year 2020 but in this case we're closing 2020 so the system automatically opens up 2021 then we click on open new year for branch uh, the system shows you an alert message do you want to continue probably so go ahead and click on yes and now we can proceed and open a new year to which all of the balances and data will be transferred as well as the user's privileges next screen i want to talk about is unclosed year and using this screen we can undo a year's closing in case there were any mistakes in the data after the annual closing you can reverse some or all of the closing process as you can uh, cancel for example the accounts closing or the inventory closing or re-transfer the due checks to the year that has been closed or back basically to the year that has been closed 
This screen becomes available upon activating the variable able to cancel annual closing and that is through the window option in the uh, system admin configuration. So the steps and the stages of the annual closing can all be undone. You can cancel the closing of a single branch even. First, there is cancel closing and that is used to direct the system towards canceling the accounts closing and uh, restoring the accounts balances from the new year to the closed year. You can see right next to it, remove account balance. The second button is cancel closing as well and that is canceling the inventory closing and restoring the balance from the new year to the closed year. Next to it, you will see cancel inventory closing then uh, we have cancel closing and that one is to cancel the check transfer and restoring those checks to the closed year next to it you will see delete due checks and the button after that is cancel closing and that one uh, that one basically just cancels all of the closings and restores the and restores the accounts balance inventory and checks from the new year to the closed one next to it is delete year closing with new activity this brings us to the end of today's lecture please don't forget to subscribe follow us on facebook instagram and stay safe out there